There are three things certain in life, death, taxes, and teenagers that need to keep their looks up to date with whatever is trending in the world of fashion at that moment. Even with solid competition coming and going, at one time there was a store that seemed to be making all the right moves and sold exactly what 16 to 22 year olds wanted at that moment in time. During the 1980s, 1990s, and very early 2000s, that store was Gedzooks. Gadzooks was founded in Carrollton, Texas in 1983. The store was created when a former college professor got the idea to create a store where his sons could buy fashionable clothes while hanging out at the mall with his friends. The store took pride in selling cool stuff for teens. Gadzooks sold brand name merchandise keeping up with the fashions of the time and creating an immersive social atmosphere that young shoppers would enjoy. Throughout the 1980s and into the 90s, Gadzooks gained a lot of ground. By 1995, the company had expanded out of Texas and business picked up fast. There were several reasons why the store was so successful at this time. Gadzooks catered to both male and female fashion with young men contributing to almost one-third of the total sales. Keep this in mind for later. Employees were youthful and energetic about the merchandise. Having a young crew is essential for selling current fashions to their peers, and it also makes for invaluable early employment experience. The store also focused their attention specifically on malls. It may be hard to believe these days, but malls were once the premier shopping and social destination for teens with expendable funds. Thus, the company focused strictly on these spaces. Inside many locations sat a Volkswagen Beetle, an element which was worked into the store's branding. Sure, it took up valuable space for saleable merchandise, but who cares? It was a very unique item that made Gedzook stand out from the others. When you ask people today what they remember the most about the store, the Beetle is typically the first thing that comes to mind. By 2001, Gedzooks had expanded to over 400 locations across the United States and was worth millions of dollars. Things seemed unstoppable for the growing retailer, but after a disappointing 2002, the company decided to make some very bold and risky choices to regain the same level of success that they had heading into the new millennium. What made Gedzook successful for almost 20 years was that it catered to both young men and women. But in the first quarter of 2003, Gadzooks decided to stop selling all male merchandise and focus solely on selling exclusively to females. Since male clothing made up almost one-third of the store's sales, that means that a significant portion of the company's revenue was eliminated with this marketing campaign. Then, in a major effort to rebrand from the ground up, Gadzooks removed the Beatles from the stores and modernized the look of all of their stores, eliminating the elements that made them stand out. But that decision was nothing compared to what happened next. Gadzooks then incorporated a rather unique marketing campaign to bring in more females by using attention-grabbing slogans such as Stop Equality, Say No to Equal Rights, and proud to be sexist. The point of this was to promote that the store had gone female only, and yes, it was supposed to be cute and ironic. And although it is likely that some people would find this kind of dry humor funny, you know who didn't? Gadzook shoppers. The store lost customers at a pretty alarming rate. These stores were seeing incredibly large financial losses throughout 2003. By February of 2004, a mere 13 months later, Gedzooks had filed for bankruptcy. Stores were forced to close en masse, reducing their footprint from 410 stores to only about 150 locations by 2005. In March of 2005, fast fashion stalwart Forever 21 purchased what remained of the struggling chain and quickly phased out the name. Gadzooks went from retail boom to retail bust in just over two years thanks to one of the most insane marketing campaigns of all time. It is arguable that Homer Simpson's wild rifle fire drawing record police and firemen to the Springfield Bolorama was a better marketing campaign than this one. A few stayed to bowl, but no one stayed to shop at Gadzooks. 
It is understandable that competition in retail is tough, especially in fashion where customers have a finite amount of money and they have many choices where they can spend it. But if you must make changes to your marketing, the changes must make sense, and in this case, they didn't. As stated earlier, sure some people will argue that the campaign was funny and people took it too personally, but in the end, that doesn't matter. The facts are facts, it didn't work, customers spent their money elsewhere, and based on that reason alone is why Gadzooks was gone within a matter of months. Today, Gadzooks is nothing but a distant memory, but let us not forget that being edgy doesn't mean being inappropriate. It's okay to push the limits, but there is a line, and it's important to never cross it or risk self-destruction.